my guilty conspirators. It gave us quite a shock. Are you all right? Okay, Ruth. We'll put it off for a couple of days. Here, I guess you can use this. No, thank you. I never touch spiritous beverages. You all look so strange. I don't know why I said it. It was only a silly joke. It's no joke. It's all tied up in this house. Something violent happened here. Something tragic. Otherwise, why would this spirit be earthbound? So many people lived here and died. But mostly Campbells. And it must have been a young girl like Sarah. She isn't going to leave Sarah until she gets what she wants. Now, what we've got to do is find out who she was and what happened to her. We say these things so matter-of-factly. Is all this really happening? There may be more happening than you're aware of. The other night before the seance, when he kissed you, while you and Pat weren't alone in this room, there was... Something. It passed over, Pat. I saw it in his face. He's a good guy. He wouldn't have treated you that way, you know? I know. I know. All right, where do we start? The attic is crammed full of diaries, papers, but I wouldn't know where to begin. Why don't we check out the Hall of Records? Birth, death certificates, we might find something. I guess we should have started in the house. As I said, that attic is jammed to the rafters with junk, and I... Oh, by the way, what time are we supposed to meet Sarah and Pat? They should be in the square by now. Hi. Any luck? No. All records prior to 1795 were destroyed by a fire. Where's Sarah? Didn't she get a ride with you? One of her classmates said she'd drop her off. Well, then she must be at the house. It will be dark soon. I said I'd be home early. I'll get the car. Now, look, you two, don't worry. I don't want her in that house alone after dark. I don't care how silly you think it is. I'll drive you there, no matter how silly I think it is. Please, hurry. All right, but we can't make it before nightfall. It's almost an hour's drive. Lights on in the house at all. Maybe she stopped off somewhere. Uh, Shh. Listen. Did you hear that?
How did this get on the floor? What happened? Getting out of this house, I'll get rid of it. I'll sell no, it. I don't. No, I can't leave. I won't. It'll never be over if I go. But Sarah, after all that no. has happened, no, you go if you want to. I can't leave. I can't explain it, but I know I mustn't. Ruth, don't worry. I'll stay here tonight. I'll stay too. Thank you. You heard that voice out there. You heard it. Admit it. I thought I heard it, but the wind was blowing and we were all excited. Oh, boy, you have a wide open mind with the proof right there. Could you two be quiet? You'll wake Sarah. Ruth, I'm sorry. I'll be in Sarah's room if you need me. Thank you, Pat. Ruth, would you mind if I get a start in the attic? All right.
Did either of you close the cellar door? No. Dan, this thing just happened. I left this book on the table. It was on my way to bed. When suddenly I couldn't move. I could not move. The cellar door opened. Suddenly the house was filled with wind. There was a loud crash. When I turned around, this book was in the fire, burning. Oh, come on, Stan. I tell you, something is trying to stop us. Every time we get close, something happens. Some strange manifestation takes place. Look at this book. It's a diary of the year 1780. Who wrote it? I couldn't tell. It was too faded. But the address is a local one. Look, I don't care what's in there or any place else. We are leaving this house right now. <laughs> Dan, take Sarah upstairs to my room. You and I will sleep in the den. Okay. I hope you'll find it comfortable here. Oh, we will. We will. I like the sound of that. Pat, after class tomorrow, would you go back to the house with me? I'd like to really go through that attic. Ruth, I don't think you and Sarah should go back to that house. Oh, please, Pat, please. to do with you. Look, it's all tied up with that house. I'm glad you stayed. Sarah. No. I know you like me. And I... Everything's happening so, so strange. Do you understand? Of course. Just remember something. Whatever happens, I'll always be right here. I'm glad. We start. Old attics are all alike. Fascinating junk shops. Well, there must be something around here to give us a clue. That isn't it. Find anything? Nothing. Oh, Ruth, come here. Hmm? No. no writing desk. Oh. But it's locked try and open it, because these things are usually jammed with papers and diaries and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, try here. Mm. Nothing. Sometimes they have secret compartments. They usually have a catch. If I can find it, it'll be easy. something. Looks like an old scroll. This could be the key we're looking for. Use this. No, thank you. I never touch spiritous beverages.
You all look so strange. I don't know why I said it. It was only a silly... Ambles. And it must have been a young girl like Sarah. And she isn't going to leave Sarah until she gets what she wants. Now, what we've got to do is find out who she was and what happened to her. We say these things so matter-of-factly. Is all this really happening? There may be more happening than you're aware of. The other night before the seance, when he kissed you, while you and Pat weren't alone in this room, there was... A Some... joke? It's no joke. It's all tied up in this house. Something violent happened here. Something tragic. Otherwise, why would this spirit be earthbound? So many people lived here and died, but mostly came. Hey, you look like guilty conspirators. It gave us quite a shock. Are you all right? Okay, Ruth. We'll put it off for a couple of days. Here, I guess you can.